Phase Neo is a dirty little cheater, and here's why. Just quickly so you guys know, this is the notes that Grandpa Hacks left, overplayed Neo's minimap point of view and audio comms point of view, high alert wasn't equipped, player ESP skeletons won't change colour, only shows player position within 300 metres, PC player on M and K, which is mouse and keyboard, enjoy. So guys, this is quite a wild one, you know how, how usually we'll react to this, it usually takes like 3 or 4 minutes to get right into the drama. Watch how quick Phase Neo is sus in this gameplay. Okay, so we see the guy in the sky there, that's fine, he goes for the kill on this one, right? Okay, but this is the moment now, look. What did he just do? Let's be honest now, right? Let's be honest for a second, right? Be honest with yourself, he's going up the zip line here, right? As he's gliding over, we can see wall hacks of somebody on the right here, yeah? Spridal, no visuals from FaZe Neo there. He's got visuals on the guy above, which is the one who he ends up actually shooting at. Lands in. Keyboard and mouse, by the way. Now that guy's dropped in behind this building, okay? Stop shooting him, he's gone through the tree behind the building, that's fine. But he's aiming right towards this guy here, right? And then he stops it, but then Nick makes is shooting at this guy on the right here. That's fine. But watch this. Bear in mind that it's this spridal here who Nick makes is just shooting at. It's this spridal here who's just gone running across. It wasn't this gang guy here. That didn't stop FaZe Neo from shooting at this gang through the window or through this. It's not even a window. It's like a board on a window, right? I do apologise for the barking in the background if you guys can hear that, by the way. One of the neighbour's dogs. He's just shooting at this guy, like literally shooting at this guy through this board on the window. Like, you tell me that he's not using wall hacks. There's no information on the minimap that's actually stating that there's anybody there. It's not the original guy who Nick Merckx was shooting at. Nick Merckx is rotating around to the left to try and push this spridal guy whilst FaZe Neo is shooting at this guy through the board here. So he's gone from shooting this guy now, right? That was the, probably the most sus thing I've seen in the first minute of spectating anyone with walls, by the way. Anyone, that is. Manages to know exactly where that guy is, right? Bear in mind, there wasn't really anything on the minimap showing any indicators of the enemy there. Let's see where he pushes off to now, okay? Remember that he said dated at the start of this that um, the wall hacks only go up to 300 meters, so we can't actually see anybody here. No visuals at all. It's how a lot of people will use them as well, limited distance, and it doesn't flabbergast you, it doesn't overwhelm you with too much information on the screen that way. Just avoiding all these buildings, avoiding them all. There's no enemies around there. Yes, closing in. Relocating the safe zone. You can't make me. Now he's trying to chase up Nick Max. Nick Max is on the zip line, so seems to have pushed back to the left. Let's see what Neo does in this situation. So to stop them, I'm just gonna um you know adjust my cheat a little bit. I'm just gonna uh, turn my wall hacks up to a favorite distance. Who knows? Who knows what he's done there? What it is he just yeah, done then? Zip the zip right now, bro. Bro, So it seems that they've actually separated quite a bit now. Nick Max appears to be on the other side of the map by the looks of it, right? But it does look like Neo's trying to catch up to him from zipline to zipline to get over there. Doesn't seem to have seen any enemies, though. There we go. Now people's names are starting to show up. Like, bear in mind, right, just, I'm going to pause it here quickly. I just want to point out the way in which he's dealt with these situations when there's been no enemies on show, okay? He's hovered above certain areas a couple of times now and not really acted on it, not dropped down to any buildings, he's not interacted with anyone, but now we've got a location with enemies, he could drop down, 
and he could not I, i've not seen this before by the way first reaction to it so let's see how he deals with this got a guy on the right there but did he have visuals on him when he just pinged the building did he have visuals on him this is the guy's inside or behind the building at least there just come out visible okay we'll let that slide he come out visible Showing up on the mini map now. And he died. Unlock him. He's back now. Must have got the buy back there. Just straight away off the rip, the first part of this video was absolutely ridiculous. It just really was. I've never seen anything like it so so soon in the video of a react. Also, for those of you wondering why like he's getting hit markers when his aim's not on target and stuff, that's spectator lag. Because obviously Grandpa Hacks is spectating days Neo. You end up with that spectator lag. <laughs> Obviously, you can hear audio on that because the vehicle we could see it on the mini map as well. Gas is inbound, marking a new safe zone. Just mark where he got shot from there. That's fine. Fire sale active. Okay, so the fire sale started now. I do, I do, yeah. <laughs> I mean, are you hitting them kind of shots just off a of UAV ping? Look, this guy's like behind this in a building, right? And he just goes and just starts pinging him. He's inside, like he's not even outside. <laughs> even the adjustments, by the way, I just want to point out, like he makes an adjustment. Now you can't, you can't predict these very minute adjustments from a UAV ping, right? Bear in mind that pings there is quite broad. Doesn't show like minicule movements. Yeah. He shoots. The guy starts moving to the right. And he adjusts his aim and starts getting hit again. Yeah. <laughs> that was a little bit sus. That's suspicious. Yes, you did. Find him, find him. Like on your head. <laughs> Guy flying in, he hit that, he saw that, no problem. Paying attention now again to the mini map in these moments to see if anything pings up. As well as visuals as well, you know. Um, this guy's behind him, one gliding in behind him as well. No audio call out from the actual game to say there was someone coming in, like enemy driving into the AO, none of that. That's the only way to get up there. You, 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 you can't climb right No, no, you can climb on the edge, but you can't get all the way up top. And that's super healthy. He's trying to get up the top for that thing and obviously struggling to do so. Um, there's no hacks for that, unfortunately. Nah, they are not nuking us. They're not nuking us. It's a very slow paced game. This he is playing with Nick Makes as well, by the way, just to make that clear. Um, even during that first instance that we saw in the video, he was playing alongside Nick Merckx. Nick Merckx condones that kind of behaviour. Oh, it's a slow ass game, this just looting and moving, looting and moving. That first part was wild, wouldn't you say? It's boring the life out of me. I think he's doing this because he's got a spectator as well. I'm not even messing. When people get spectated and they're cheating, they tend to actually calm themselves down a little bit. Especially when they've had one spectator throughout the whole game. They'd probably be like, hmm, could be Grandpa Hacks that, because he's making a little bit of a name for himself now. He did just try and ping what looked like a bush. Or whatever the hell it was. 
the King Bouncy or something? What the hell is that? Ah, I know what it is. Like this is the most boring gameplay I've ever seen now, yeah? He's being petty, isn't he, with, his, with taking down the drones, uh, the uh, zip lines, sorry. He's got people pushing up on his right here. Look at this, look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. So it must be easy to just toy around and play around when you know no one's around you, right? But the minute somebody comes up on him, right, watch this again. Right, this is wild, by the way. Watching the minimap. Watching the minimap, right? I just want to see... What point did it, what at what moment did did he have visuals on these guys here, right? Nothing on the mini map. Was it a little bomb going up or something, right? But watch this, he's got the guys in his visuals here. He's literally in the perfect position now, lying down on these stairs where he's in cover, right? Lines it up. Still no visuals. Maybe the tip of the head right now, but he's already lined up at that point. Even the transfer from enemy one to enemy two, then like everything about that, like he knew exactly where those two guys were. He knew they were both pushing up on him. No, he didn't kill them, but the way he positioned himself with no information on the mini map or anything like that, he knew exactly what he was doing. And you know, there's a nuclear crate up on the top there, so it just kind of. That's the kind of game it is. You know what I mean? These guys aren't bots, or they shouldn't be anyway. <laughs> Guy coming up on the left side now as well. See how he deals with this. Bit in mind he went to go left and then turned to go right after that. He's down the guy, but down himself by the looks of it. He's gonna die now. Now he managed to actually escape that. Them two guys are still there as well. Let's see how he deals with this. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Just position themselves there again. The guys have moved off to the left a little bit now. One on the left still there. <laughs> so he's peeking these two guys here, right? Okay, the mini map showing people there now. Don't get me wrong, but just watch this moment now. It's just before this, right? So he's here again, right? Those two there are not showing up on the mini map at all, right? He's looking at this guy on the left. Now he gets visuals on him, so that's fine. He can see him. No problem. Right? But then he turns back here. And his crosshair actually stopped dead for a second on that enemy. So he's looked back at this guy through the wall. Right? This one here. And then decides to move left again. And it's only now that those two guys start showing up on the minimap. So after that little sus moment of him peeking through the wall at these enemies is when they showed up on the minimap. So just want to see how he deals with these now. Again, just knew they were there. Just knew they jumped off to that direction as well. Extremely boring gameplay, but definitely sus moments. Even that then. Even that sus. Sniper there, he sees that, sees the glint. You can see the guy up on the top of the fire station here. That's fine. But there are multiple people here on different levels, so let's see how we do. I don't know, that's kind of sus. The door open then, right? See how he deals with these guys now. It's very fast paced movement from him, from Neil. So we're trying to figure out whether or not there's moments where he's peeking guys through the walls. 
All the OQs are all over the place here. There's like four different sets of footsteps going on downstairs, as you can see. You know, all, all the footsteps, all the footsteps. How are you paying attention to even one of them? Guys, do all that noise. Well, how many people are in there, by the way? This is duos, yeah. Are oh, they playing duo quads? Duo quads. It didn't work out for them, did it? Guys, personally, from the very beginning of that video, I feel like FaZe Neo was using wall hacks. He played a very slow game, but I still feel like he was walling all the way through. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you did enjoy today's video, smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss our future uploads. Go and check out Grandpa Hacks video. It's linked in the description below as well. And if you want to contact me about a streamer who you believe is cheating, hit me up on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman1. And one last thing before we go. Do you ever feel like life is just too overwhelming? That your anxiety is holding you back from being your best self? Introducing Supreme CBD, the all-natural CBD solution to help you find your balance. With Supreme CBD, you can experience the benefits of CBD without the psychoactive effects of THC. Supreme CBD's formula is designed to help you reduce stress and anxiety, improve focus, and promote overall wellness. And the best part, Supreme CBD is made with only the highest quality organic ingredients, so you can feel confident in what you're putting into your body. It's time to take control of your life and find your balance with Supreme CBD. You can order now and experience the difference for yourself. And don't forget to use code triple B40 at checkout for 40% off.